Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to another huge statue unboxing here on the channel. Today is a big day because I am unboxing my first Batman statue. So for the longest time, I was trying to avoid getting into DC statues just because I knew if I picked up one, I was gonna have to pick up another one and then another one and another one. Well, thanks to you guys, I picked up my first Superman statue and now we've got Batman to add to the list. So this is the first one and if you guys saw my other video on my top pre-orders on my other channel, DT's Geek Show, you'll know I have a lot more Batman on the way. So the one we have today is the new 52 Batman from Prime One Studio. So when I was looking for my first Batman statue, I wanted something really cool, really dynamic, and this one looked like it fit the bill. So today we're gonna open these up and take a look inside. Okay guys, so here we have box number one. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got a little catalog and we've got our instructions right here. We'll see if we need those or not. And for those of you guys that are interested, this is what I cut my boxes open with. My buddy Mac says I need to get a dedicated knife. His looks really cool. So I might be upgrading this soon. Let's take a look here. Okay guys, and here's what we got. This is the back part of the base. It's the side of a building with a shattered window. Looks like broken glass right here. Feels like a plastic or plexiglass. Slightly tinted, so you can actually see that it's there. Some nice detail on the stonework. Batman actually keys in here, and this keys into the actual base. This thing is pretty hefty, and this is just part of the base. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna put this one over on the table. We've got a couple nuts and some washers, because this guy actually bolts on to the base, but I'm guessing with this, it's gonna be pretty secure. And let's get on to the bottom layer. And here it is. Okay, and here we have the rest of the base. Let's take a look at this big piece right here. This thing's uh, definitely got some weight to it. We've got a nice rock texture in there as well as uh, the top of a building. And we've got some gargoyles that are gonna go in there as well as that wall. In the very bottom, we've got more of a museum style base. Nice silver metallic finish with the Batman logo. Looks pretty cool. And here it is on the bottom. This is the EX edition. They made 600 of these and this is number 413. Base feels really solid. Of course, we get some gargoyles. Here's a look at one of them right here. And the one thing I noticed is the majority of the Batman statues out there are rooftop themed, and they usually have a gargoyle or two, just because Batman likes to hang out on rooftops and stare down at the city, kind of see what's going on. Here's a look at these two. Both look very similar. Call these the gargoyle twins. We've also got an arm and a wing. Okay, so that's gonna do it for box number one. Let's move on to the big box. Okay, and here it is. Let's get her open. Okay guys, and here's what you get in box number two. Um, this is the Batman box. As you can see, we have this giant cape here. Whoa, and Batman is heavy. So here's a look at Batman. Like I said before, this is a super dynamic pose Batman. He's actually kind of flying through the air. Take a look at his musculature in the back since in a little bit he'll have his cape on. We won't get to see that, but some very nice details on the backside, details on his shoe. I can already tell this is gonna be a very heavy statue once everything is assembled, just by the weight of the individual pieces. The cape isn't that heavy. I think it's made with a lighter material, not polystone, much like the Superman cape. As you guys know, I much prefer a sculpted cape opposed to fabric. We also get two portraits. We've got this one right here with his mouth closed. Some really nice skin texture on his face. He's got the whited out eyes. And we also get this portrait with his clenched teeth. So which one you display is gonna depend on whether you like a calm Batman or an angry Batman. We also get his right foot, a left hand with an open palm. Since this is the exclusive version, we also get a left hand holding some kryptonite. Also have this right hand that's got a grappling hook gun. Here we have the actual grappling hook and that just inserts into here. We've got some broken railing. Here's the other gargoyle wing. And we also have these two pieces which cover up the holes where we bolt Batman to the wall. Okay, let's put this guy together. Okay guys, so here we have all the pieces. Uh, the base fits very nicely on this turntable right here. I got the instructions here. I can probably figure it out without the instructions, but 
Since people are having issues with that cape, I want to make sure everything's done correctly. So the first step is to put on the big window. Oh man, this thing is heavy. There's a big peg and key. It's kind of tough, you gotta find that little hole. And there we go. Okay, so the next step is to place our gargoyles. Uh, we'll start off with uh, this guy right here. Okay, there's gargoyle number one. Gargoyle number two is gonna fit in over here. Number three will go right here. And there's our gargoyle setup. One more piece for the base, and that is this broken railing. And that piece is gonna fit in right here. Like that. Okay, so for our next step, we're gonna put Batman on, and uh, we're gonna get these little washers and bolts ready. Okay, so we got Batman. We're just gonna insert him right here into the wall. We have the little screw that comes through the wall. We will first put on the washer and then the little nut. And I'm just gonna hand tighten this for now. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. So with the weight of Batman, I can see why they put the bolts on. This guy is uh, really heavy and you don't wanna just attach it with magnets with the risk of him falling out. So with the bolts there, he is not going anywhere. I actually forgot the arm of the gargoyle. He's supposed to be gripping the edge of the roof here. So we have to put that on first and then lower him onto his arm. Okay, now we have his arm on. So Batman needs his other shoe. And there we go. Let's give him a hand. Let's give him his right hand. It's time for the cape. The cape is actually gonna key into the wall as well as Batman. That. So right now the cape is pretty secure, but we'll add the washer and screw in there just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. And now we can cover it up with these pieces. Okay, time to give Batman his head. We'll give him the closed mouth first. Let's insert the grappling hook. Okay guys, so here it is, the new 52 Batman. Again, really cool base with the gargoyles. Very similar stone texture that we saw on the Hush Superman piece. Different shades of gray. We got some browns thrown in there to show some dirt and rust. Nice detailing on the top of the building. We have some brick. Very realistic stone texture. And I like the cool silver Batman themed museum bottom to it. Much like the Transformers pieces that we've seen. The wall has some nice texture as well. The shattered glass looks really cool. We've got Batman's foot kind of coming through the window frame. Uh, maybe he broke this glass, I don't know. The parts where the holes are, uh, the pieces do a good job at covering that up. It's in the back of the statue, so unless you're displaying this in the middle of the room, you're not gonna see that anyway. There are some nice details in the back in case you do see it in your display, but for the most part, you're gonna be looking at the front. There is a small seam on the gargoyle's arm. However, unless you're looking for it, uh, you're probably not gonna notice it. The detailing could have been a little better on this exposed rebar on the side of the wall here. I've seen it in other pieces painted a lot better, but this is on a part that's not gonna be very visible on the statue, so it's not too big a concern. The window frame itself looks very good. It's very well detailed with the molding here. Towards the bottom, it gets a little wonky, but I guess that could be attributed to the damage that's been done to it. Overall, I think it's a very nice base. Now we're gonna move on to Batman, who is the main attraction of this piece. I really like this suit, it's very smooth texture for the most part. It's very high tech looking with all these extra lines. His muscles are not overly defined, which works in this case. It actually makes it look like his suit has some substance to it. It's not just a tight fitting piece of material. It looks like it might have some thickness. We've got some little silver accents. Around his arms and shoulders, we have more of a mesh texture, which makes sense because this is where his arms are gonna do the most movement. So the material looks a little more stretchy, more flexible, and his shoulders sort of have an armored appearance. He has some really cool looking gauntlets. These three little fins that come out look pretty sharp. 
like they can do some damage. And I really like his gloves. They have this metal accent on his upper knuckles, as well as segments on each of the joints. He's got some padding on his knees. He's got the black bat symbol on his chest. And I'm really digging his utility belt. It's not the leather pouches that you might have seen on other Batmans. This is definitely more metallic. We've got this nice weathered gold paint. You can see some little scratches in there. Nicely shadowed, so it's not all one color. His boots look really nice. Very futuristic and high-tech looking to match his suit. He doesn't have any laces, but there are some nice details, as well as some really interesting looking tread on the bottom. I really like the muscle proportions. He has a very nice arch to his back. Very full quads and glutes. His grappling hook gun looks really good. There's not much to it, but there are some nice details in that as well. I really like the cape. It's got a nice flow to it. Definitely something you wouldn't be able to pull off with the fabric cape. There is that gap. There's really nothing more we can do about it to hide it. There is some give to the cape. However, if you push this side down, uh, this side pops up. So it's a trade-off between whether you want a big gap on the right side or the left side. But it's sort of like a Monet issue where if you're standing farther back, yeah, it's gonna look fine. But the closer you get, the more it's gonna bother you. Another thing that doesn't look too hot with this cape is the front detailing on it right here. I saw some pictures of the prototype and there are a lot more little lines and creases in there. Here it looks a little muddy and clay-like, uh, almost like if somebody was sculpting this and took their finger and then uh, kind of rubbed out the details. Okay, so here we have the mouth closed. Very serious look on Batman's face. Let's try it with the clenched teeth. In my opinion, I like this one better. He actually had clenched teeth in the comic book cover that this is modeled after. Now let's try the kryptonite. And of course he's got the kryptonite because before he was friends with Superman, he thought he was a bad guy. That's the only way that Batman, a regular human being with a lot of technology, is going to beat a guy from Krypton. I like it, it looks pretty cool, though it does remind me a little bit of that lime jello I used to have as a kid. Okay, so a little bit of the comic backstory of this piece. So in 2011, DC Comics decided to relaunch their entire lineup with something they called the New 52. They basically took all their characters and rebooted them. Everything from Action Comics, Detective Comics, Batman, all went back to issue number one. This was their way to get new readers involved and freshen up their characters and storylines. I wasn't reading a lot of DC Comics back in 2011. I was too busy making videos about Angry Birds. I think there were definitely some good things that came out of it, but overall, I think people didn't like it. So this piece in particular was based off of this comic book right here, Batman number three. And this is actually a variant cover. And as you can see, it almost nails this to the T. We've got Batman flying through the sky, shooting his grappling hook, his capes flowing in the air. And on this one, you can see he's got the clenched teeth. So I think we're gonna leave the clenched teeth on. I don't think Batman used the kryptonite in this issue. So we're gonna switch it back to the open hand just to be a little bit more comic accurate. Okay guys, so that was the new 52 Batman statue from Prime One Studio. Very glad to make this my very first Batman piece. And like I said, I have more Batman statues on the way. And if you guys are curious to know what those look like, you can check out this sneak peek video right here. My top 15 list on statues that are about to come to the channel. So make sure to check it out on DT's Geek Show. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this piece in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.